Alright, what's good YouTube? Uh, I know it's been quite a while since I put anything together for you guys, uh, especially anything Android related. So, you have here my 2013 uh, Nexus 7. Um, I'm just going to show you really quickly. It is currently on Android 4.4.4. Uh, Dirty Unicorns build, which I am in love with. Love this ROM. Um, but Android L is where it's at right now. So uh, this is a little trickier than in the past um, to update to 5.0 and then to have root access. You kind of have to jump through a couple hoops. So I'll show you how to do it <clears throat> start to finish. Um, going to be using a 5.0 ROM. Uh, that I will I'll link to the ROM thread in the uh, in the description. I'm not going to hot link the ROM. If you want the ROM, go to the ROM thread, grab it over there. Um, the G apps package that's going to be listed is the only one I've found so far that actually works. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and reboot into recovery. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need uh, the latest twerp recovery, 2.8.1. I'm not going to cover how to flash, you know, the updated recovery in this video. So, if you don't have 2.8.1, uh, you can use Flashify or the uh, the actual twerp app to do it without having to hook up to a computer or anything. That's how I updated because my micro USB port is broken. So for right now, I am unable to uh, to hook up to a computer at all. So let me just kill the brightness a little bit so you guys can see this a little better. All right. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go in and wipe. Advanced wipe. You want to take out the Dalvik system data, not your internal storage, and your cache. Your cache. And then swipe to wipe. All right. Now everything is wiped. Now you can go ahead and install the ROM. Uh, this one right here, eleven thirteen build. I had some issues. There's actually an eleven fourteen version of this ROM available. But I had some issues getting it to boot. I kept getting stuck in the boot animation. A little bit of a boot loop. It wasn't like a custom boot loop. Like your uh, run-of-the-mill boot loop. It was kind of weird. It would finish the boot animation. Screen would flash on and off. And then it would go back into the boot animation. So for all intents and purposes, for, for this video anyway, we're going to stick with the 11.13 build. Because I know it works. So when you go to the ROM thread, just grab the 11.13 version. Don't go for the 14. Uh, both versions are posted. So go ahead. Oh, worth saying, before you do this, make a full backup. Don't be stupid. Back up everything before you do this. Just in case something goes awry, you can restore your backup and try again. So we're going to go ahead and swipe to flash the ROM. Right. We're going to go home, we're going to go back to install, then we're going to flash the gapps package. Now when you first boot this up the first time, you're not going to have root access, right? So we're going to go, uh, worth noting, uh, occasionally, like the first time I installed this, the G apps package didn't seem to install right. So just for the sake of argument, we're going to go back. We're going to go back to install. We're going to select G apps a second time. And we're going to flash it again. You notice it's going a lot faster. I mean, a lot slower the second time. First time it popped right through, flash, boom, boom, done. This time it went a little slower. 
I don't know what's up with this G-Apps package, but if it doesn't go slow like that, flash it a second time. And then we're going to reboot system. Now this first boot, you will not have root access. You have to do it. For some reason, it has to be done this way. I'm not sure why. For whatever reason, the first boot on Android L because it has to build uh, everything through Art because the Dalvik system no longer exists. This fir first boot could take a little while, so I'm going to pause until it's done. Alright, <clears throat> so you can see it, it finished booting up. It took about uh, four and a half minutes ish to boot fully, so don't get freaked out if it takes a few minutes. Now, you're going to want to go through the tablet setup. So, I'm going to pause again, set up my Google account, my Wi-Fi, all that stuff now. So, uh, just bear with me, give me a few minutes, and I'll be back. Alright, so tablet's all set up. Go ahead and hit finish. Uh, I'm going to take the Google Now launcher. Actually, I'm just going to stick with this. Alright, so the tablet is all set. It's all set up. Now you're going to want to boot back into recovery. Uh, power menu for right now only has power off. So you're going to shut the tablet down and then hold volume up and power until the Google logo shows up. Release power. Keep holding volume up until you get into recovery. Okay. Now... Uh, first, you want to hit install. Uh, for this video, <clears throat> I'm using the Elemental X um, custom kernel. You have to flash a custom kernel or a custom boot image. Um, I highly recommend Elemental. Uh, the glitch kernel is also updated to VL compatible, so you could use that for all intents and purposes. Oops. For all intents and purposes for this video, we're using Elemental. So this is uh, an Aroma installer and it takes a few minutes to get through it. So I'm going to pause again through the installation of this. You can install it completely with just the default settings. You can overclock if you want. Set the GPU a little higher if you want. But I'm not going to bother with that on this video. So I'm just going to pause and be right back after Elemental's done. Alright, so... Elemental has finished installing, so you're going to hit next, finish, All right, we're going to go back home, install one more time, now you're going to want to check the Super SU beta version 2.19, specifically for Android L, so you're going to select that, swipe to wipe, I'm going home, reboot, system. And we'll just verify that everything is set up correctly and super user is functioning properly. Now if super SU does not, uh, when you go into it, if it says no binary exists and it can't find one or anything like that, binary exists and there's no way to install it, then you've screwed a step of this up and you need to start over. Now, Super SU is included here in the settings. There you go. Super SU is configured correctly. I don't I didn't set up a Google account so I can't download Root Checker, but if this doesn't work correctly, as soon as you go into Super SU, it's going to tell you that no SU binary exists and there's no way to install one. So if you don't get that warning, Super User opens up and it looks like this and you have all your tabs and everything and you're good, then Super SU is configured correctly and it is working perfectly. Uh, for all intents and purposes, um, if I if I try to install if I put my Google account on this on this tablet right now it's going to start to download and, and reconfigure all my apps and that's going to take forever before I can uh, install a root checker and do all that good stuff so 
I'm not going to bother with that for this for this video, but that's that's about it. That's how you get your um, your Nexus 7 onto Android L with root access. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Android version 5.0, Elemental X kernel, Super SU working like it should. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, as always, subscribe, rate, comment, all that good stuff. Sworn Leader, signing out.